Hi, I'm Mikey Rook, and this is Critical Hits, where I review all types of bands. If you're ready to rock and roll, well then, here's a rock. Now let's roll. What's up? Now, if you stayed with me for this long, you're awesome, and I like that. Now, for all the Paramore fans that could be watching this, forgive me for this, and bear with me, because my first review is on the band that you love, Paramore. Yes, Paramore. An American rock band formed in 2004 with founding members Haley Williams, Jeremy Davis, Josh Farrell, and his brother Zach Farrell. Now, for musicians all but Davis, under the age of 18, I've got to admit that they are very talented and skilled musicians and songwriters, and they've come a long way up. But so far to me, it seems that they're beginning a very agonizing decline. Now, I'm not going to lie, I came into contact with their music through the release of their single, Crush, Crush, Crush. And then I went on to actually purchasing their album, Riot. And frankly, I enjoyed it. And to this day, from time to time, I still do. Then they went on to release their third studio album, Brand New Eyes, which I haven't listened to really well myself, but I've heard great things about it even that it featured some of their strongest songwriting to date. Now that's a pretty impressive feat for such a young band. But then sometime in late 2010, tensions between Haley and the Fowl brothers reached a boiling point, and the brothers left the band. Leaving only Haley, Jeremy, and Taylor, the band's rhythm guitarist, to run Paramore. Straight into the ground. Rest in peace, my friend. Rest in peace. Yes, and I say that strictly from my point of view, which is probably most likely very different from yours. But as a rock musician and songwriter myself, and after a long time of wanting to speak about my opinion, I've come up with a list of artists to talk about. And first on my list is Paramore, being as they are a personal favorite of many people close to me. And I've been noticing a sudden decline in their music. And today I'm going to talk about why I think such a thing. And I'll start by talking about their latest self-titled album. Now I'll start off by saying that the first track I've heard off their album is a little track called now. Don't try to take this from me. Don't try to take this from me now. Okay. What the hell? I mean, seriously, she sounds like a 12 year old spoiled, selfish brat having a panic attack being vocally led by a chipmunk. In fact, scratch that. Even the chipmunk is laughing at her. Just take a look. <laughs> Now to be honest, after reading the lyrics of this song, I've got to say, this song actually had some pretty powerful lyrics. And truthfully, the lyrics are actually very beautiful and very poetic. But that intro is a really rough way to start off a song. And the guitar, drum, and bass don't really quite mesh together with the lyrics that are being sang. It's like they said, Hey! Here's a random riff and drum beat. Let's put words on it and make a really annoying chorus and intro to it! Yeah, that sounds really catchy. That'll catch on perfectly. I'm getting real tired of your shit. It's annoying, to be honest. I mean, I can't really enjoy it well enough because it's just so meshed and the chorus is just really an ear sore. And actually, if there was more effort and time put into this song to give it a really good instrumental and a really good chorus and intro, it'd probably be the most inspirational song of its time. And in fact, in a way, it kind of is. I mean, diehard fans really have the patience to look past the crappy sound that this song produces and really understand the lyrics by what they're supposed to mean. In other words, the song's not all bad. It just seems really rushed and pushed out, as if they didn't take the time to produce this track to the well extent that it could have been put at. But I looked through the rest of their album, and I came across a song that I hated more than the song now, the song that comes before it, Fast In My Car. definitely rushed through a blender. I mean, the very chorus itself contradicts itself. I mean, look at these lyrics. We're driving fast in my car. We've got our riot gear on, but we just want to have fun. No, we're not looking for violence. No, oh, oh, oh. Tonight, we want to have fun. They're not looking for violence? Then why the hell are they going around with riot gear on? I mean, I guess that you could say that by Riot Gear they're referring to merchandise based off their album Riot, but then basically they're just putting product placement in their song. For their own product! Talk about selling out. And still, driving fast can lead to violence. So remember kids, wear your seatbelt. And like the song now, the guitar, bass, and drums is also a mesh and it's even more rushed, making it just as rushed as now and less intelligent than now. And I can't really tell you about the rest of the album because in my opinion the rest of the album is just 
so forgettable that none of the songs really caught my attention. Except for one little single. This single I actually found very entertaining, not annoying at all, and not even rushed. In fact, to me it was very well thought out. This single's called Still Into You. I should be over all the now this song is a perfect example of exactly what Paramore is capable of bringing to you. The guitar, drum, and bass are well put together and they mesh perfectly with the vocals of Haley Williams. And I gotta say, it's a song that I could see myself driving fast in my car and singing along to. In my opinion, this song is the best song they have on this album and brings me hope that this band will be back to their former glory soon enough. Now don't get me wrong, this band is incredibly talented and to be honest, my only problem with this album is that it seems incredibly rushed with relatively annoying songs like Now and Fast in My Car and really forgettable songs like... Well, um... Every other song other than Still Into You, it just seems like they're really not that interested as they were before. So understand this, in my personal opinion, it's not their best work. And if you're a fan and you feel offended, please forgive me, that wasn't the point of this review. I understand that they've worked hard, have been through a lot, and over the years, through time, they've really picked up a fan base that is really drawn to their music. And Haley's News. I'm Mikey Rook, and I hope to see you next time on Critical Hits.